My name is Cedric Thompson, and I am uh, going on my second year of being in the NFL. Nine passes a week ago. Appleby wants to throw, and his pass is picked off. Picked off by Cedric Thompson, and Thompson's got a chance. He's inside the So much, you know, like she's everything anybody can wish for as far as being there for you, no matter what the circumstances is, no matter where you came from, she's going to be there. She's always going to give you a chance. Oh, and that was that was a, that was a huge thing for me. I was me and Charlotte are big on family. Um, we come from two completely different backgrounds, and that's why I feel like we're completely drawn to each other. And I always knew, no matter what, that before I asked her to marry her, I had to ask all the people who were closest to her, her in her life. And I had to ask her, her little brother Keegan, who's like Excuse my me. little brother. You know where the principal's office is? I do, right up here. Thank you. I'm here just to, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm here to ask somebody for their sister's permission to propose. And he, he we, we've talked for a few weeks and he knows, so. I, no, I got, I'm gonna propose to his sister, but I'm gonna ask him for his permission to propose to his sister. But I don't know where, I don't know what classroom he's in. Is she your birthday? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you in room 16? No. Huh? <laughs> Cedric, what's your name? Nice to meet you. What grade are you in? Uh, seven. You're in seventh grade? What are you doing out here? What? What are you doing out here? Good. Well, I'm just 16. Are you in room 16? Yeah. Why aren't you in class? You don't want to be in class? <laughs> but what is a negative times a negative? Excuse me. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Can I borrow Keegan for a second? Yeah. Thank you. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up? I just want to relax, relax. You're not, you're, not, you're not in trouble. Relax. Just sit down, bro. Relax. Come sit down. <laughs> what, you, what you freaking out for? What are you freaking out for, bro? Keegan. Relax. <laughs> oh, relax. I just want to ask you something. I'm serious. Keegan, why are you? Relax, bro. Uh, relax. Stop shaking. Relax. relax. No, I have to ask, to ask you a serious question. Now you got me nervous because you're tripping. Relax, it's nothing bad, it's good. But in all seriousness, like, I know me and your sister have been talking for a long time. And I'm like, or you're like my little brother. Mm -hmm. I honestly just was coming to ask you if you would be fine if I asked her to marry, to marry me. Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I really, I'm gonna ask you and your mommy your permission. I'm not gonna ask her to, for, to marry her without your permission. Cause you're like my brother, I'm serious. Yeah. Hmm? Are you about to cry? No, I'm serious. What you want to cry for? Come here. I told you I'm being your life for the rest of my life, bro. I promise you. You hear me? Yeah. Right, you gotta toughen up. You gotta go to class. You hear me? Yeah. I love you, bro. I love you. I'm gonna be in your life for the rest of your life. I promise. You hear me? Yeah. When did you do? When did you? <laughs> <laughs> when did you decide to do this? I've been planning it for a long time. Remember I told you? Are you gonna do it? Huh? When are you gonna do it? Tomorrow. Huh? When? Don't, bro, don't worry about it. You're gonna be there. It's a, it's a big deal. I promise you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much. You, it's gonna, it's gonna be all right. Okay. Go to the bathroom and clean up, and I'll see you later. Right. But look, you can't tell anybody. I, I swear. Nobody. Nope. Like, I'm gonna ask your mom right now. You're the first person. Okay. okay. Are you all right? You sure? Okay. Right? okay. All right. I love you, bro. I'll see you later. All right. Thank you, Sarah. That was great. Thank you. Y'all do good in class. Make sure you pay attention. You need your education, huh? Yeah. huh? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. That was great. You want to come see the guy? You have to come. Come on. Matter of fact, just come in the class, screw it. Oh, yeah, okay. come on in. This is Sarah. She's the one that helped me. Could you guys hi. say hi, please? Hi. Okay. I just asked Keegan if it was okay if I marry your sister, but you cannot tell anybody because <laughs> I'm doing it tomorrow. But you have to. Are you Lily? Me? Lizzie? 
What's your name? No, Lily. You're Lily? Lily. Oh, hey, Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. <laughs> okay, but you cannot tell anybody. No, I know about Lily. <laughs> okay, you guys cannot tell anybody anything. You promise me you won't say anything. Like, this is like room 16 secret. Like, you can't tell room 17 or room 18. Okay, all right, thank you so much. That was great. She, bro, you were supposed to be part of room 16. Oh, I'm just, she helped me sometimes. Huh? She helped me for a while, sometimes. So why are you standing in the hallway? No, I'm just looking you. Huh? Warm help. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, bro, get the class. All right. I'm a football player, how do you know that? You do? Cool. I'm, your, I'm one of your biggest fans, too. Nice. Give me a high five now. It's good to meet you. What's your name? Hassan. Hassan? All right, I'm Cedric. Nice to meet you, buddy. Hey, make sure you get to school now. Make sure you get to class. All right. And I had to ask her mom. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Hey, Julie. Was this a yeah, it was. <laughs> I wasn't even doing? in my classroom. I wasn't expecting to see you. Did you know I was coming? Hey, class. <laughs> so everybody, this is my daughter's boyfriend, Cedric nice Thompson. Hey, nice to meet you too. How's everybody doing? This is my Third, fourth, and fifth grade class, although it's only the fourth and fifth grade. <laughs> here. My name is Demetrius. Nice to meet you, Demetrius. My name is Henry. I'm fourth grade. Nice to meet you, Henry. What's the surprise? You want to sit down so I can tell you the surprise? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I've been dating Charlotte for a long time, and I just, I don't really know what to say because I'm getting kind of nervous, but I just really wanted to, before I did anything, I wanted to ask you for your permission if I can marry her. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I thought you came to help me with you guys today. Of course you can marry my daughter. I love you. I love you too. Oh, that was good. I was scared. It's cool, but it's crazy hot in here. Yeah, I know. She told me when I talked to her last week. You called her last week? Dude, oh. I've been, you don't understand. I've been planning this for a long you? time. Are you where you're supposed to be, buddy? Johnny? I think Johnny's doing his own thing. Johnny is doing his own thing. He always does. Okay, so here's the 411. You can't say anything I to anybody. I'm just like, I'm sweating. I'm like. I uh, went to Keegan's school first. You went to Keegan's school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to tell you what happened with Keegan. Did he cry? I don't know. He kind of got me. He kind of got the ball rolling after that. I thought it was good. But you can't tell anybody. I'm, Only person you can talk about it now is Keegan. So tomorrow's the day? Yeah, so now I'm about to go to Dave's. I'm about to go to Rich. And then I'm about to go to Ashley. Oh, you're good. Thank I you. love you. I love you too. I'll see you later. And you okay. don't know everything that's going on tomorrow. Okay. okay bye. bye. So the first thing I did, uh, I contacted her sister's husband. Hello? Yo, bro. What's up? Um, don't bring Kane because she's already like, I want something fresh. And then, she said uh, what? She said she wanted something fresh. She's freaking out. Just call me an asshole and say, Come over here, bro. Yo, I'll just bring take something. Take that'll, that'll, line, make, that'll make her happy. I'll just bring something. But are you are you sleeping? You just woke up? I'll bring something fresh for her. No, 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 don't. Dude, you don't know Ashley. She's freaking picky and like. She's not in a bad mood. She has to get what you want. I say, just come over. She's already getting suspicious. She's like, you're up to something. She knows that I'm coming? No, she just, she's getting suspicious. Dude, are you sure you're going to bring her anything? I'm sure, bro. The best thing you can do right now is just come over and, and get this over with so she realizes why I'm doing this. <laughs> and it's not just because I'm an ass. She's like, the baby needs to eat. I'm like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> When are you heading, starting your day? Huh? When are you starting your day? Um, I'll see you in the next hour. In the next hour, okay. All right, bro, I'm I going. thought you were gonna be like sitting here waiting. No, I thought you were running time, but you said, you said she was driving you nuts, and I was like, okay, maybe. maybe. No, but you said you're on your way, so I'm like, all right. Oh, oh anyway, yeah. I'm like, I'm, like okay, there, I'm like five minutes away, I'll be there right now. Well, I'm, I'm gonna come and see you soon. I wanna uh, come talk to you about something. 
Uh, I'm actually in the parking lot. <laughs> and yours, I'm outside. I've been calling you and I've been trying to get in, I've been trying to come see you. All right, bro. All right, man. He already said, he said the baby needs to eat. <laughs> Abby! What's up? What's up? He closed the door. Let me see if he got it. You got clothes on, Dave? Huh? You have clothes on? Dave, where's, where's the light at? Where's the light at? Huh? You have lights? All right, sit down, big dog. I want to talk right, to you. Sit down. I was going to do, I was, last time I was going to do laundry. And mm -hmm. then I took on my. Hi, right, David. So what's up? You know what's going on. No, I don't. You really don't? Mm -mm. Bro, I thought with how smart you are, I'll like, he's going to figure I, it out. I figured that it has to be one of two things. What? How do you sign a contract mm -hmm. you're getting engaged? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, you're, you're right. Well, I'm really just, honestly, I just came to ask. I know you've been in Charlotte's life for a long time. Mm -hmm. and you're basically, you and Rachel are like her father figures. Mm -hmm. And I would never want to ask her to marry if I can marry her without the permission of people who are close in her life because you know how close you are with family and stuff mm -hmm. and I just wanted their permission if I can marry her absolutely, absolutely. what do you mean? what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? absolutely 100% 100% 100% okay 100% Good. 100% totally yeah okay right. I just wanted to make sure man and then I mean I what, all your what, how do you um what made you get to the, this point? I mean, because me and Charlotte have been in forever. And then, like, it's something I knew I've always wanted to do, but I just wanted to wait for the right time. And mm -hmm. this is one of the happiest moments. Like, we, me and Charlotte are really happy. Man, and, give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I like that. I like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. I would never do what I asked him about, y'all. Like, yeah, 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 I know it's yeah, important. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. good. <laughs> oh, now I've got to show you. In fact, that reminds me. I'll show you something. Hold on. I just got it. It may be good for you. What is it? Your shoes. Come on, what the hell? Show me. No, I would definitely not be wearing those, bro. Those be good for your shoes. No. Don't you think so? No. <laughs> those are great Italian shoes. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you know everything. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Where are you guys gonna get married? Here? Huh? I don't know that yet. Well, <laughs> I mean, what, what would you think? Wouldn't you get married in Minnesota? Would you do it in California instead? Dude, I'm just worried about the proposal right now. <laughs> you good? That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's what good. happened? I'm ready for it. Huh? Needed. Why? Is it because you got? Did I usually not get here this right early? Here. Huh? Hey Ashley. Good, how are you? Oh, there's one to come see you. Why are you crabby? <laughs> I know. He already told me. Why are you crabby? <laughs> All right, I just really came. As you know, me and Charlotte just been dating for a long time, and I just think at this point in our lives, it's really the time where I think that we really want to solidify and we want to be with each other for the rest of our lives. But I didn't want to ask her to marry me without asking everybody I know who's the closest in her life. And I just wanted to ask you if you think it'd be, it would it be okay if I asked Charlotte to marry me? <laughs> And you know, I'm just as they always say, doesn't have any emotion. I would love it if you officially became a part of our family. You've already been a member of our family for so many years. And we love you. And I love having the whole sex so. Don't sit up here making me cry, bro. I'm so excited. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna let, well, Ahmed knows everything. I've been planning for like four or five months. What? Yeah. But and it's all happening tomorrow at uh, around like five o'clock. Your dance teacher knows everything. Oh. <laughs> Your dance teacher knows that you're not gonna be there and stuff, so. 
Because I know once you figure this out, you wouldn't want to miss it. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like, it's a big deal. Okay, so what do we have to do? Like, what? So I'll let you know everything because now that everybody knows, because I know we're we're gonna be waiting on you because you know you typically ready in the morning. So you're the last person that I have. See you later. Well, I'm so glad that. Yeah, stop being me to my bed now, bro. He was doing it for a good, a good cause. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, me, me and Charlotte had went to the beach one day, and this is kind of we were going through like, uh, kind of like every other relationship that we're going through a down part in our relationship. And we went to the beach when I was training for the NFL, like. Day slash combine. And every time we go to the beach, she loves looking for sea seashells all the time. And she found this little, this little bitty seashell, like this big, like literally like that big. And it was like a perfectly wrapped, um, perfectly wrapped like spiral seashell. So me, being me, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do some, go and uh, look for some seashells as well. <laughs> so I'm going to look for some seashells, and I'm like, okay, I'm not finding anything. I'm finding a bunch of broken seashells. Okay, I, I kind of give up. I'm looking. I look for like 30 minutes. So I go back and sit down next to Charlotte. And she's looking at all this, the seashells that she's found, and uh, I'm kind of just playing in the sand, like just playing in the sand. And I feel something. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so I feel something, and I pull up this shell. It's a perfectly colored, perfectly shaped, no chips, no scratches, no nothing in the shell. It's perfect. And I said, oh my God, look. And she was ecstatic that I found it. And it was so weird. Cause I was like, not looking at me. I'm just playing in the sand. And um, I've heard Charlotte talk about this show before. She says that that was at a time, at that point in our relationship, that showed her that God was telling her that all, no matter what, like all the greatest things are right in front of us. We just have to trust in God and not go search for them. They'll come right to us if we're patient and we just wait. So I, when I heard that, I, I had to incorporate this to when I proposed to her that that's God's message that everything is right in front of us. We just have to you know, believe in Him and not go searching for it. That He'll bring it. He'll bring it to us when it's ready. Hey, fellas. What's up, bro? <laughs> come on in. I can't believe I'm actually meeting this dog. Hey. <laughs> No, it's good. I had dogs. That's fine. I was watching, been watching a guy on Vine for a long time. He's a, he's a comedian slash singer, and his voice, he has an amazing voice, man. And I reached out to him, and surprisingly, I was shocked he wrote me back. And he's gonna sing this song for me. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Where we're gonna be at, sitting there, where you're gonna be playing at, and stuff. You, you kind of know what you're bringing and everything. Yeah. So, um, so I obviously bring my keys, um, and. Uh, I probably I was gonna bring this guy for sound probably right mm -hmm. yeah because otherwise and there's really only like that one chorus mm -hmm. um, I'm getting goosebumps I wanted to really see and meet Dustin um, <laughs> not even just to hear him sing the song I just wanted to meet him and just thank him for what he did and he played some of the song and I just couldn't even sit down in my seat I was so freaked out I almost sat there and cried when he when he was singing the song. So hopefully when he sings and I see her, that yeah, I, I will not faint. Because I kind of have a feeling I might faint when she and walks up there and he's singing. You want the music to be over, I'm guessing, before you ask, actually pop the question, right? I or, don't know. Or, like, or you just want to... What I was Because are, are you guys going to be like even near me, really? Or are you going to be no, at gonna, that point? We're going to be there. We're, we're gonna, okay. You're down the hall, but you're right. not that far away. You know, it's... Yeah, I mean, and, and I think at any point, like if the moment that she's actually in, I mean, I could just, I could just go right into that like chorus or something, or or go into. You know. oh because <laughs> I mean, Here so goes. Here goes. Here so goes. so if I'm just like playing. Because 
yeah, I mean, ultimately, if, she, if like, it'd be cool if we could, if I could time it, where like, yeah, if she when I would finally see her. No, no, I can't do this, bro. I cannot do this. I can't do this, bro. I swear to God, I might fade, bro. You can do it. You can do it. Um. Yeah, we could. Matter of fact. Or. I probably can't go through with this, dude. Like, I'm so serious. So, how long do you part when after when you say it? So, like, your head on my so, shoulder, how long so, is that? Uh, so, yeah, so that's the. Uh, So today is like game day. Like I've been playing this for five months and this is like, I just need execution from everybody that I've had on, on my team. At 10 o'clock, she's gonna be out the house and I got her two, two of her best friends from kindergarten who they've been friends to this day. And they have a surprise uh, girls night out. We're going to get our hair done. And they say that uh, they want a, a, a hair and makeover thing at work and she could take two friends and the sister says she's taking her sister in Charlotte. So she's gonna be getting her hair done, getting her makeup done. I've already got, I took her last week to get her nails and her eyebrows done. You look like Edward Scissorhands. So she's gonna be gone the whole day. And then I gotta go get cleaned up because I'm out here looking rough. I gotta get my hair, I gotta get my hair cut. And after that, that's when the it's really flying. We gotta go pick up the flowers hey. from the floor right after we're done um, getting my haircut. Get to the house and we got to get the flowers ready. All her family members are gonna write a, a note of her knowing that I got their blessing to marry her. Seven. Okay, where is that? Is are we too old for seven? Are you sure? Well, I'm gonna go close. What the hell? We're yeah. I look good. I'm not trying to. <laughs> no, 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 no. So seven. What is, are, are you guys gonna eat food or are you just gonna be like drinking? Okay. Yeah, tell her I can't just have. What time are you trying to be down there? Um, I don't know what time it is now. Let me just go look at it. Oh, yeah, it is almost three. So how long is it going to take you to get ready? Okay. How how was the place? Oh, Did you like it? Yeah, that stuff. Yeah. What did she do to your hair? What is any of this so, stuff? Alright, so just call us on your... Hmm? Yeah, not a still. What does it say? It's Chashi. No, no, no. 
What, is, what did it say? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> you want to tell her can read it to me? Is that right? What's she did I get it right? That's so sweet. Uh, Charles right, just we'll call. Go. Just call us, but are you sure seven? We're, we're not. We're that's an okay place. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. She, she's she's going back to the apartment to change. She she said she has a lot of makeup on, <laughs> more than she usually would wear, and that um, they're gonna go down to seven. They're not going clubbing. They're just gonna go appetizer and drinks, and that we should meet them. So, we're not too old. Right. Of course. Dude, I'm going to wear my sweatpants, man. Huh? Yeah, huh? Oh, go get your sweatpants on. Huh? Who asked you? Dave, are you like officiating a wedding or a huh? funeral? No, I wedding? thought I thought it was like some big function we're going to go out in. You know, <laughs> cameras and lights. Yeah. Y'all are going to be in a room. And then when she walks in... Oh, she's coming here? No, this no. is happening here? No. Julie, just let me explain everything and then it will be all right. So, y'all gonna be on the... Questions. Y'all gonna be on the sixth floor and the thing's happening on the fifth. So when she walks in, she won't see y'all and she's following roses up to the... Uh, up to where I'm in. There's a guy playing a song. At that point, does she know? She all the she She's gonna do it so no sooner. Can you turn around to swear? <laughs> <laughs> but this is but this is what I want y'all to do. So each because she she won't notice y'all there. Another surprise is y'all gonna come up after. But on each of these, I want all y'all like write, like give them, letting her know that like y'all gave me permission to marry her. And these roses are gonna follow me up. And this purple one, I got this from Maddie, and I'm not gonna leave anything on it. I just want her to know that. This is from her, and this is gonna be the last one before she sees me. And when she sees this last one, she'll have all of them, and I'll be at the end, and then that's what I'm proposed to her at. So where are we gonna be? Where are we gonna be? Let's see more tears. Okay. Where are we oh, and this, and this right Nana here. Nana needs to know where is she gonna be. Huh? Huh? You're gonna be with the kitchen. Nana, you be in the kitchen. Okay, and this, this is another thing. You're staying here. You're gonna hold down the fort here, Nana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, butterflies are a symbol of my daughter Maddie, who's in heaven, and anybody associated with our family would know that particular that that's a way to include her in the in the day. We went to Pennsylvania when she was sick, and um, for uh, the type of brain tumor Maddie was diagnosed with, didn't have any conventional treatment at all that shows any efficacy um, in not only not curing but not even really prolonging life. There are only about 150 children diagnosed annually in the United States with the type of tumor that she had and it's fatal 100% of the time and it's usually about a six to nine month prognosis so usually detected in children younger than Maddie. Um, so Maddie was old enough to understand she was 13 at the time she was diagnosed. She was old enough to understand the enormity of the prognosis. We found a um, non-toxic therapy that a lot of people who are also in hopeless situations had found, and it was called Protocell. And they used to have an annual Protocell picnic to bring together people who were using the um, therapy. And it was in Pennsylvania. So Maddie and I, my parents live in Pennsylvania. Maddie and I flew out to the picnic and we were staying with my parents and um, my parents had an art show to go to and Maddie and I were walking around my parents' neighborhood and um, there was a butterfly that was on the ground and when Maddie put her hand down, the butterfly like walked up onto her hand and wouldn't leave her. And originally when we were going to Pennsylvania, one of the children that we had hoped to see shared the diagnosis that Maddie had, Julia, but Julia had passed away two weeks before the picnic. So Maddie had, you know, we had planned it that we were going to meet Julia and instead um, she wasn't physically able to be there and as soon as the butterfly hopped on her hand Maddie said, Julia! And I said, oh you think Julia sent a butterfly to us? And she said, no! <laughs> this is Julia! So that was like an amazing thing. Wouldn't leave her, you know, hung out with us for about 45 minutes before we finally put it on a bush. And 
I didn't really think so much about that butterfly again until the first time that I could finally muster enough like energy to leave my house to get my kids some food. So I'd gone to the grocery store and when I came back, Keegan was only, he was a year and a half, not even, when Maddie died and Ashley was sobbing. And she said that Keegan was throwing the, we were gonna have a picnic out on the front yard and he was throwing his paper plate and a gigantic yellow butterfly landed on it. And Keegan called Maddie Babu at the time that she died. And Ashley found him crouched over talking to this gigantic butterfly, calling it by Maddie's name, calling it Babu. And he ushered her over and he was like, Babu, Babu. And then the butterfly ultimately flew away before I could get home to see it. And Ashley was like, I wanted you to see this, you know. So three days later, we decided to go to the um, farmer's market. And it was Ashley, Charlotte, Keegan, and I. It was our first family outing post Maddie's death. And I was racing around and told the girls to get in the car. I had Keegan on my hip and I had forgotten diapers. So I ran back in to get diapers for him. And when I came back out on the boulevard down there was the same monarch butterfly look, you know, same type of butterfly that Maddie had referred to as Julia. And it was flitting around the girls, landing on them. And Keegan immediately looked at it and said, ah, and it was a completely different type of butterfly than the one he had seen previously. But he again, immediately called it by Maddie's name. All of a sudden, Charlotte, my youngest, was holding it in her hand like this. And she was wearing a tank top of Maddie's that had Maddie's initial on it, just an M. And it reminded me that was exactly how Maddie was holding Julia when I photographed her. So I ran in and got a camera and photographed Chachi holding the butterfly exactly the same way that Maddie had been holding it. And from then on, like the significance of butterflies have like taken taken over um, our entire home and family and heart. That Keegan was um, as pure of heart as he was and didn't have any of those boundaries that you and I maybe would have had. We would have said like I did to Maddie, oh, did Julia send you a butterfly? Like, is that a symbol, right? And Keegan, without reservation, knew instinctively it was her and was able to bring our attention to it as Maddie, which was super, super cool because the rest of us maybe would have, you know, no pun intended, but it maybe would have like flown over our heads, but Keegan, it just was exactly what it was, and he was able to bring it to all of our attention. It's kind of always hard to answer that question when you didn't physically get to meet somebody. I've had conversations with her mom about Maddie, and you can just see the glow in Julie's eyes when she talks about Maddie. Julie tells me that Maddie was the best person that she's ever met in this entire world. And when I see pictures of Maddie, she's always, she's either smiling, she's laughing, or she's making some kind of funny face. And you can just tell she was just a complete goofball. And she loved everybody. That's all you've ever heard about Maddie. She's funny, she loves everybody. She would give her last shirt off her back to anybody at such a young age. And although I didn't get to meet her physically, I know spiritually I've met her in that house from all the laughs that everybody has. I see a piece of her in each one of her family members, from Julie, to Keegan, to Ashley, to Charlotte, to Sarah, to everybody in that house, you see a piece of Maddie in them. If I was having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Maddie, I would just let her know that I will do everything that I can and in my power to make sure that her sister has a, the happiest life that she can that she can ever have. I'll make sure that she's never she's never harmed under my control or. I will always keep her safe. At the end of the day, I just want to make sure that I keep your sister happy. That's what I would say to her.
All of the stars around us They could fall out of the sky And dark clouds could come And block the sun From now till the end of time See, I don't need anything As long as this is true That you love me So lay your head on my shoulder Take my hand and grow old with me Forever side by side I wanna wake every morning To your face in my fallen heart Beating side I don't have all the answers And I sure ain't a perfect guy I've got no bank account A fancy house high in a high rise But one thing's for certain I'm one happy lucky fool